I'm going to take a minute to show you how to find your assignments. You're going to upload, of course, by clicking on the colored link. Click Browse My Computer. Um, click on the assignment where you saved it. It should be saved as a dot .doc or a PDF. PDF is the tried and true or dot .docs. If you save it as pages and try to upload, I will not be able to grade it. So click Submit in the bottom right corner, or it will not go into Submission. It won't be where I can see it. And then wait and see in the preview. Can I read my assignment? Can I see it there? It might be a while that you have to wait to see it. Generally, if you can see it here, then you know it made it, but it's always best to make sure, is this the assignment I intended to upload? Now for your actual outlines, I have just uploaded a template. You're going to be writing sentence outlines. So uh, if I were to see this and I were a student, I would say, oh no, that is the template that I uploaded. That's not my actual outline. So make sure you upload the thing that you intend to upload. This is what I see when I grade. So if you're not seeing the right assignment in this opening here, then you have not uploaded the correct assignment and you should email me immediately and let me reset or get rid of the submission you don't want there and then you can have another shot at it. But this is also why it's important not to wait till the last minute, because once the link disappears, you don't get another shot at it. And the link disappears at the time of the deadline. So I would advise uploading assignments the day before, um, at least three hours before. So you have time when I'm not in class or working with another student uh, to get my attention so I can help you um, resubmit the correct one if you have an accident. All right, now um, I can click OK because I'm OK with what has been submitted. Then once uh, I'm waiting for my grades, when I'm ready to check, I click on My Grades, and then I can see uh, what has been graded or submitted, if I want to just check what's been submitted. If I see an exclamation point yellow circle, that means I submitted something and it just has not been graded yet. If you want to check what has been graded, you can come here. For example, um, I have comments here on my argumentation sentence outline that I just demonstrated submitting. Um, I can view the rubric here and see where I got uh, good marks on the rubric and see what is expected in formatting. It should follow MLA format. Um, and so there are comments in the various boxes. Sometimes in the rubric, the expectations will be in the uh, section where you can get the highest points and the other boxes will say read the rubric to see what the expectations are. Um, so that is the rubric part. Now in addition to that I have some comments. So I click on the little speech bubble and it tells me you need to add sentences with your ideas and research in the outline. Also you should include the works cited page as the last page of this document. So so I didn't get a perfect score on this because I submitted uh, something that did not meet the requirements. Uh, so that is how you find your grades. Those are the graded ones. Again, you can click on all so you can see what may be coming up. So we have some things that are blank that are coming up. We have the yellow circle. That means I have uh, submitted an assignment and it just needs to be graded. It says needs grading. So you're waiting for the instructor to grade. And it takes me a week for short assignments and up to two weeks for big essays because I have a lot of students and a lot of essays to read. So if 
you will be patient, I will appreciate it. Let me know if you have questions about the Grade Center or um, how to upload an assignment.